Last time we took a look at the omoplata submission. Now we're going to take a little bit of a look at how to defend that position. Alright, Alan goes for the omoplata. He enters into that position, swings his legs out, and immediately the first thing I'm doing is putting my hand on the back of my thigh. I'm getting a little bit of base back here. And of course, I want to start to base back. But some people are real slick. You know, some guys, uh, some of the bigger guys, they have really good control over the back of that tricep. And it's very difficult to try and stack him up. So my goal here is going to be to roll with this. Now, when I order my defenses for the omoplata, I usually want to stay on top. When I start to roll, I've acknowledged that I'm going to give up those sweep points. So you've got to be very careful with this because you can lose a match trying to defend this submission. Okay? Always number one is stack him up and try to get the arm out by, by stacking him. But he started to roll me, okay? or he started to, to put my face down. I haven't been able to keep my posture. I'm going to tuck my head and I'm going to roll. One of the differences between the mid-level guys and the advanced level guys is being able to play from that next position before I even get there. So when I tuck my head to roll, I'm already going to be moving my bottom out to the side and trying to come up. My hope is to get a good scramble and control on the back end. Sometimes you just avoid the submission and you get to eat crap on bottom. So let's take a look at this. I tuck, I roll, I turn, and I'm moving my butt out to the side already. This is going to make it easier to prime my legs to turn down and start turning into my opponent. Notice, you can do that all in one motion. When I roll, turn my hips out, and I'm going to turn back in. All right, Alan's pulled me into that omoplata position immediately. I'm going to start to tuck my head. I'm going to roll. I'm going to get my bottom out to the side. Immediately turning, switch my legs. I'm going to turn in and come up on top. It's important that I switch my legs, move my hips as soon as possible, that's going to give me the ability to turn into him. If I don't move my hips, I'll get out of the omoplata, but he's probably going to maintain those sweet points and, and be really difficult. Alright, Alan opens up into the omoplata, immediately tucking my head, rolling, move my body back out, head in, and dominate. Making sure to start to move those hips immediately when I see that setup coming and I feel that pressure. Once I know I can't stack back into him, hit that front roll, move those hips, come up and dominate. He enters in for his omoplata, immediately I roll, I move my hips, I'm out, and I turn back in. Notice I'm keeping good pressure, I'm hugging the bottom of that thigh, not necessarily because that's really where I want my hand to be, but I acknowledge he's probably still going to maintain control of my sleeve. We can worry about breaking the grip a, a ton of different ways, but come up on top, have a good solid base, driving forward.